हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी जेनेरिक ड्रग प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट जस्ट लाइक ए एनी अदर ड्रग प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट इट हैपेंड विद दी आई एन डी ए एन डी एंड सो ऑन लाइक हियर ऑल्सो जेनेरिक ड्रग प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट इट इज ऑल्सो देयर बट इट इज स्लाइटली डिफरेंट वाई बिकॉज इट इज द पेटेंट एक्सपायर्ड ड्रग और एनी प्रोडक्ट राइट सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड लाइक जेनेरिक ड्रग्स आर दी the other form of drug uh, which is similar to the branded drug or innovator drug right so here also some development it is there how the planning it is going to have that only we are going to discuss so let's start generic drug product development right so these are the certain steps which the person the manufacturer has to follow and has to understand so that they can go for the better marketing outcomes right so the first one is the mission statement to to in uh, initiate something uh, in the production sector we have to have the mission statement what is the because this is the key role where we need to identify our goal our mission our aim right so basic functional description and business goal why it is important to go for generic drug production first of all what is the business goal what is the area we are going to cover what are the basic functional description for the particular product the right from the excipient binder adherent or uh, some other base uh, what is the kind of formulation what are the active ingredient what is their strength and uh, their function their performance so on then the, the another side product planning it is very very important whatever the product which we are going to uh form right uh, tablet capsule it is solid doses form liquid doses form gas aerosol whatever it may be right so the market opportunity first we need to see what is the number of patient into the particular area what is the requirement to go for the generic drug production is there the particular launched the market branded drug it is so high price so that only you can go for uh, to uh, grab the marketing right then uh, what are the required proceedings it is required uh, for the <clears throat> say for example study because generic drug also we need to have some bioequivalence study and uh, approvals uh, again we need to have the fda approvals and the manufacturing what is the number of uh, means uh, large scale uh, small scale to large scale those things we need to understand coming to the about from the mission statement concept development it is important it comes concept development in that we are going to do the target market identified <coughs> what is the target market like anti cancer so what is the number of cancer patient hiv patient so like that like that we need to identify the target market which product is required for that reason that is the theme okay alternative product concept why we need to go for alternative even the branded drug is existing into the market because of uh, that we need to concept we have to develop then system level design again up once the concept development complete we need to go for system level design their product architecture what is the going to be the doses form what are the requirement machineries raw material methods on all those thing assembly scheme production what is the schematic presentation how we are going to uh, manufacture how we are going to uh, collect the data of the particular study those thing has to be designed in the system level design then next uh, we have to go for detail design once the uh, the outer schematic design is completed we need to go for each and every step deep right it like geometry of the product materials going to be used what may be the tolerance uh, what kind of tools and techniques uh, we are going to use what are the documents it is required uh, data we have to evidence we have to generate that like uh, bioequivalence is same uh, strength stability performance <coughs> ADME and all those once this is complete we will go for testing and refinement ultimately right so what is the evaluation we are supposed to do product to work as designed or not if it is for anti diabetic and it is the uh, brand generic drug of anti diabetic of the any brand branded drug so whether it is able to reduce the blood sugar or urine sugar level into the diabetic patient or not those things has to be 
checked here then we will go for production ramp up once it is completed approved uh, large scale production it will be done by the particular generic drug manufacturing company then product launch this is a last step where it will come into the market become available for purchase into the market <coughs> for the people those who cannot afford the branded drug now they can purchase the generic drugs uh, because of uh, it is it's a less co less cost and uh, uh, the same therapeutic activity as a branded drug so this is the steps uh, generic drug product development it is required uh, right here also fda will be having role it is not that the uh, once a patent will expire the particular pharmaceutical company will take it into the market and it will start producing no we have to prove that the particular design which we have developed for the generic uh, product uh, it is also having the same bioequivalence same kinds of uh, standard we are going to maintain then only it can be launched into the market thank you